Hey guys, my name is Adam, and I'm here for another Impressions video, so I'm handling something a bit different today. Welcome to Receiver. Receiver is a game that was created for a 7-day FPS challenge to explore gun handling mechanics, randomized levels, and various other things inside of video games. This game offers some kind of interesting gunplay mechanics that I really find quite interesting. It essentially offers you a ton of keys, and you're going to try to memorize all of them in order to be an effective gun user in this game. In terms of the option menu, as you can see, it's kind of bare, and that's fine because it doesn't really need too much. Uh, you have the option of inverting your mouse if you so desire. Not too important. Uh, you have mouse sensitivity, very important in FPS. That should always be included. I don't know why some games don't. That's huge. Um, distance from the eye to the gun. This is very much so personal preference wherever you want it. I'm glad they included it, though. You also get the option to lock your gun to the center of the screen. That I actually find really enjoyable, but I don't particularly like how I feel so claustrophobic when I have it. I like being able to move my gun from side to side. I like that they give you the option at least, but I'm going to stick with it off for right now. Also, you have the option for volume control and so on and so forth. So that is the options menu in a nutshell. Now, if we take a look at the gameplay, well, first off, I have a gun. You know, who, who's shocked here? Nobody? Good. You probably shouldn't be. The game is called Receiver, after all. So, here we go. The game starts you off with a pistol, and occasionally it will give you a flashlight as well. So, if you look in the upper right, you can view help by pressing question mark. And here are all the controls that you will have for your gun. You can do a lot of cool stuff. For example, right now I have a basic pistol. So, what I could do is eject the magazine by tapping E, and there we go. Now, we have the magazine out there. And we can put it in our inventory, but for right now, I think we'll just keep it inside of our gun, shall we? Alright, you can also, of course, fire the weapon. You could pick up nearby objects using G. Uh, I could pull back the slide. It's already kind of back, though. There we go. I'm actually releasing bullets now. Probably shouldn't do that. Um, but you also have the option of toggling to, toggling, rather, to full automatic, or you could go just to semi-auto. Up to you, really. But other than that, um, a couple things that you should know is the spawn is very much so randomized. I've had opportunities to use a uh, basic handgun like I have right here, but I've also had the opportunity to use a revolver, which is kind of neat. All right, so let's get into this just a little bit. I'll talk along the way. All right, so first thing you should know is, um, I guess I'll point out a problem with the game first off. Spawns are very random. That can either be a good thing or a bad thing. Um, I think that on a lot of extents it's a good thing because it adds to people's interests and it makes them want to play again. Uh, that's certainly something that is helpful to the game. But another thing is the spawns are actually so randomized that it can spawn you right in front of a turret and you'll die. And uh, I'm dead. So that's another interesting mechanic. If you get shot one time, you're actually dead. You need to be very careful of your surroundings, which I am horrible at. But nonetheless, here we are. We have a revolver. Okay, so... I can open the cylinder here, and you'll notice that I have three bullets in there. Um, I don't really know why I would do that, so I'll put all of the bullets in there, and then I'll close the cylinder again. This is very much so a game about memorization of controls, so don't expect anything that is going to be easy to remember. There's a lot of different buttons, and certainly, uh, for example, if you tap E to open the cylinder, you need to tap R to close the cylinder. Just something to keep in mind. It's not actually the same key, so you can't actually associate... Um, one key with a certain part of your gun. Alright, so where exactly am I supposed to go right here? Uh, there's a pathway back here, so we'll take that. A um, couple other neat things that you can do. For example, if I open the cylinder and use the mouse wheel, I can actually spin it around. always find that kind of entertaining. Alright, so with that complete, let's keep going. You need to be very careful of my surroundings. Could be a turret around here. Which would be kind of bad. A um, couple other things you can do, you can crouch, that'll give you a little bit more evasion. If you hold down, um, question mark, you will notice more advanced help. This is pretty obvious stuff, you can inspect your chamber, um, you can reset the game, you can crouch, kind of basic stuff. Stuff that you should pretty much know already. Alright, um, another thing that I can mention about this game is I really like the soundtrack it has. Um, I feel like it suits the game really well. There we go. Took out a turret there. So this is going to be your basic enemy in the game. As you can tell, very basic enemies. And you'll also occasionally run into some flying droids. Uh, nothing you can't handle. And I would certainly say that um, for a seven-day game, I think they did a good job. 
All right, let's just empty the clip. I know I have bullets that haven't been used, but I don't know. I feel like I should have all the bullets I possibly can for the next firefight, so we'll take a look at that. All right. So there's some lights over here. Need to look down each hallway. You do have time to duck out of the way like that, but not much. So need to be careful. I wonder if I go around it, I'll have any better luck. Doesn't look like I can, which is kind of annoying. Um, so common strategy in this game is to hit it a couple times and fall back behind cover. There we took out another one. And I can actually pick something up here. So if I hold down G, uh, what did I actually get? I think I got some. is said to be awake when he is able to get a completely clear signal, free of any subconscious corruption. Huh. In this state, he will be able to see realities in their true form and transcend normal human limitations. Although some of the receivers we choose to speak through are advanced in their ability, no human has yet achieved this awakened state. Humans exist in two worlds. In reality B, they live and work in their shadow bodies. In reality A, they are asleep, their minds unconcerned and roaming free. But humans have the unrealized potential to exist fully in both realities. It is this reason that humans are threatened. Even one of them wow! So yeah, I was trying to let him talk. That's something else that you can find in the game. Uh, you can find tapes, but yeah. So unfortunately I died there. I probably shouldn't have bothered letting him talk, but um, it's kind of neat. Uh, obviously they only had about one voice actor for this game, you know, grand total, but... Honestly, can you blame them? I don't think so. I think that they've done a fantastic job with what they had. Alright. Well, we're back to our regular old pistol. Now, I can't actually tell if it switches back and forth. Like, one time you have this, one time you have the revolver. Or if it, quite frankly, is completely random. I can't tell, and it's kind of hard to judge it. Because if it's 50-50, it's very much so... Whoa. Like, where's that coming from? I don't... Like, no. Trying to be careful there. That's something that interests me. I don't know what that is. Okay, so I just grabbed some bullets. That's good. Uh, another thing... Well, I just showed you. Okay, so yeah, there is fall damage. Sometimes it's a little bit unclear how close to the edge you are because you can't actually see the rest of your body. You can only see your gun. So that's a little awkward. But other than that, and it does look like it's completely random because I just got this gun again... But, uh, that answers the question. Alright, well, we can release the slide lock, and there we go. So, as you can tell, we have this flashlight now, and you can actually hold these side by side. Kind of neat. Nothing too crazy, though. If we press 1, we can put the flashlight away or take it back out. This is really tough to get on top of. There we go. Alright. So, where would a turret be? Well, it's probably inside... Ah, oh, wow. So, um, one thing that the game doesn't make clear to you about, and I'm just showing my brilliance with it, um, they don't actually inform you really how much fall damage you can take. How little of a fall will actually kill me, I have absolutely no idea. But, I don't know. It, it's something that is interesting to me. Very interesting, actually. And this room is way too dark, so what I'm going to do is, in order to just skip past this, I can just hold down L and skip to um, another randomized location. So let's take a look at that. And now we have a flashlight. There we go. We also have a revolver, which, of the two, is my personal favorite. I feel like I have a lot more control with this baby. Take care of business with this. I'll probably die again because I'm not very good at the game, but that's alright. You need to have quick reaction time, and you need to be able to shoot people, or rather robots, very effectively and very quickly. So, on the game as a whole, is it worth your money? Well, it's only $5 on Steam, so it's kind of hard to argue that it's a ripoff. The $5 gaming experience, is it worth it to you? Some people just don't won't like this game at all, just because it's not actually a full game. It is a 7-day experience for the most part, but other people, I feel, will definitely take to it and find it extremely enjoyable. I suppose it's really based on 
wow, they were above me. I did not realize, but... Um, yeah, so it really depends on what you think is worth it and what you think is worth money. Um, some people can freely spend their $5 on a game that they find extremely enjoyable and, you know, all the power to you. I'm not going to take anything away from you for that. Um, I find this game very, very fun and interesting. I'm really bad at it, though. It's, it's kind of sad. I just don't have the memorization... Uh, capability in order to memorize all of these keys. I play a lot of their games. I play Dota, and obviously I can't spend all my time on here trying to memorize those keys. Can't spend all my time trying to understand all the gameplay elements. But what I can do is help you make an informed decision about whether to purchase this title. This is actually really nice. Like, you're pretty much in a hotel for the most part now. You have your couch, table, some chairs, the world design, or level design rather, is really good. I think that they did a really good job on that. Um, they didn't need to. Keep in mind that this was only a 7 day project, and it was purely for gunplay mechanics. But they added in a decent world in the meantime, so that's not so bad at all. Alright. There's a lot of dead ends in this game as well, and that kind of leads you to... Being a little bit ignorant of your surroundings, being fe feeling overconfident in your, in your surroundings, I think is the best way to put it. You don't think that anything will be around the next corner, and oh look, it's probably going to be a turret. Nope. So you start to get a little cocky, you start to think that nothing is actually going to be in this area, and then all of a sudden you're going to get a turret that is going to absolutely destroy you. It's kind of the way of things, but... That's something that adds to minor suspense on the game. I'm not going to talk like this game is very suspenseful, because it's not. It's, you know, it's a standard game that's showing off gameplay mechanics, and I can't really say that it adds any sense of danger to it. It's purely fighting um, low-resolution uh, turrets, and that's fine. Uh, it all depends if you're kind of interested in this stealthy kind of like accuracy shooter kind of game um it's definitely an accuracy fps you need to be very accurate with your shots you need to know where to place them you need to be very aware of your surroundings all of these things i am very much so not and all of them together make me kind of bad at the game but in terms of a good purchase that's something a little bit different so, this looks like another tape. I'm not going to pick that up just because he will go rambling even more, but... Kind of interesting. This is kind of the idea behind the backstory of the game. They wanted to create a very basic game, but the main focus would be gun elements. Which they've done. They've done it actually really well. Where the hell is the next turret? More importantly, where am I going? I guess I should go up these stairs, shouldn't I? Wow, is it dark. Uh, a couple other things you can do. You can actually find a flashlight on the ground occasionally. Uh, this is way too dark. I can't even see. The YouTube video is going to be like pure black. Yeah. Alright. What's over here? Oh, this is actually a doorway. My god, is that dark. Uh, if I have one complaint, the game is very gloomy. And it really doesn't have to be. The game just tends to be dark for the purpose of being dark. Uh, that's another complaint I have with it. I mean, they could easily add something even like a brightness option if they don't want to make it um, extremely bright. You could add a brightness option and make it people's personal preference. Because this just seems too dark. Uh, I'll grant that it adds minor suspense, also makes it difficult to see the turrets, which people can see as a challenge. But personally, I don't really see the reasoning behind it. Did I hit it? I don't think I did. I can't really tell, though, so I'm going to, for right now, say that I did it. And now, um, right. Can toggle the safety here, pull back slide. R. Oh, that doesn't actually do anything, right? Well, isn't that just lovely? Okay, so I'm trying to figure out exactly how to do this, so I can drop the magazine. I don't really see how that helped, but... Let's grab that again. Okay, what if I holster my weapon? Yeah, there we go. Now I can insert bullets in the magazine. It's very much so a process um, that you need to just understand over time. Now we insert the magazine and bam, we have a whole new clip. 
Alright. There is color. I will grant that there is color. There's also turrets down here galore. Uh, pull back the hammer. Pull back slide. There we go. I'm not even an avid gun user, so some of this is just kind of foreign to me, but... I can still have fun with it. And I just completely used all the bullets in here, but we can insert more. I actually... Wow, I have one bullet left. One bullet in the chamber, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, draw the weapon. Insert the mag. Now I can release the slide lock. And I think I'm good? Right now, though, what I want to do is grab this, which is a flashlight. There we go. Alright, it's a couple turrets down. So, a very effective way to handle turrets and other enemies is actually just to sneak up on them from above. They won't actually shoot at you like that. They will only shoot at you if you're pretty much at ground level. They'll shoot if you're at a little bit of an elevation, but not much of one. I found that that pretty much is the case. Also, it's going to be really difficult to get down here, but let's test the fall damage. I don't actually know how much this will be. So that is not considered death, which is good to know. I, Again, the game doesn't make it clear, so it's very difficult for me to say. Uh, as for right now, though, what I can do is holster my weapon and insert some more bullets in the magazine, draw my weapon back, and insert the magazine. Neat mechanics. Neat. Uh, you know, there isn't many games that do stuff like this. It's very in-depth, but uh, while you make it in-depth, you're sacrificing other gameplay elements. But then again, it was a seven-day project, so how much do you expect? It's only $5 on Steam, so once again, how much do you expect? It's all stuff that you need to keep in mind, and oh god. It missed me, so a turret's can miss. Wow, that was close. I have, like, no bullets as well. Should I try sprinting for it, perhaps? Do it. Oh! Wow, this is way too close. Okay, so I don't actually have any more bullets. That could be a problem. Right, so I guess it's time to try and sneak away. Don't think I'll be able to manage that one. How can I manage this one? Is that bullets? It looks like a tape. Yeah, it looks like a tape. Oh boy. Right. Um. That's another thing to keep in mind, is that you do run out of bullets rather quickly. Alright, let's run for it! Wow, this is working! I'm a genius! I'm a genius that's still an idiot! Yeah, don't ask me how I managed that one. Ah, oh, okay, there we go. That was kind of interesting. So there is evasion you can do, but once you run out of bullets, that that's kind of, that's pretty much it. So final conclusions, I think it's a good game. I think it's definitely up to the consumer, though, whether it's worth $5 even, because it's just a game that is testing gunplay aspects. So... Is it worth it to you? I don't know. I, I can't make the decision for you, but what I can say is it's kind of a bit of fun. You do a bit of stealth, you can dodge some turrets, you can do a little bit of gunplay, and it's very in-depth. I mean, there's a lot of controls here. It may not look very difficult, but memorizing that is ridiculous. You know, there's so many different keys that you actually would need to memorize that I'll never be able to do it just because I can't devote enough time to it. And I don't really think anyone's meant to devote that much time to it. If you can instinctively reload, like I've kind of been managing to do by the end of the video, then that's good. And you pretty much got what the game wanted out of itself. Um, but that's about all I have to say on Receiver. Interesting title. Wasn't exactly what I expected. I, um, I was not expecting anything that would be interesting in the slightest. I thought it would just basically be testing gun aspects and how it would work in a video game if you made things extremely in-depth. And I actually think it worked pretty well. But I also think that this is a game that only it can do it in because it's based off of it. You can't do stuff like this in other games because people would get frustrated at the constant memorization of different keys in order to reload your weapon. I don't think it's a good idea to put all of this into different games. I think it's kind of a neat concept, though.
and people could expand on it and create uh, something kind of unique. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and it definitely is interesting. So I will see you in future videos. Bye.